today um, we shall learn how to uh, implement a simple moving average in Simulink. We are going to uh, through the whole process and also a short test for validation. So uh, let's uh, just get started. So basically we have here the, um, only the MATLAB, nothing else. So we are creating a new model. We're going to name it like uh, move EVG. We're going to open this model. Okay. We're going to make some changes in configuration parameters. Just press Ctrl plus E. We choose fixed step and discrete no continuous states. And um, we're going to choose the sample like uh, 10 milliseconds, 10.01. Okay, apply. That's all for now. Next, we are going to start by adding some blocks. Um, first, we need an um, delay. This one. We need also a vector concatenate. Um, we also need an accumulate. I mean, um, it is called the sum, sum, I think. Sum of elements, yes, this one. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. Sample, I think we need um, we need to count the number of samples. So, uh, if I remember, this is an um, with yes, this one. And um, product. <sighs> okay. Um, so basically, this is uh, all what we need for now. So uh, let's separate them a little bit okay so um, let's suppose that we have an input which will be represented by uh, an in put and then uh, we shall proceed like this. We are going to concatenate this in the past. <coughs> How many um, delays we want? Um, let's say nine. I mean, I think this one is wrong. Uh, I think we need. The tap delay. Yeah, this one. Do 
there is a small difference between um okay so uh, numbers of delays let's say we want to make the average of the last 10 samples so uh, then we shall have here uh, 9 plus this actual value okay uh, I mean the current value then uh, all these inputs the, the, the input here after the concatenation will be added together in this sum of the elements okay then we shall um, also take the width okay and then um, just um, we need here um, an uh, multiplication and an division we shall just divide it like so by the number of the samples so uh, and then maybe if we want to have this as an output so basically this is it that's all um, so we have the input the actual and the nine pet, uh, past values um, together they will form uh, signals I mean an array with ten elements we shall get the number of elements here after this sum of elements we shall have the um, sum of the whole elements into the array and then we shall divide them by the number of elements and this is it okay um, we shall make a short test we shall choose a signal builder no um, how is call it a signal signal builder yes this is it shall erase this one and we shall define some inputs and uh, also test this um, implementation we are going back to the Explorer and make um, Excel and type it rename it with input shall open the X element uh, document what do you kn need to know here is that you must uh, delete and keep just one sheet we shall have a column which is time we shall have some values here uh, the time goes like this I mean uh, we shall respect the sample time okay we shall get the um, 20 values and uh, the output I mean for our algorithm shall make the um, average of the last 10 and then the value of the signal we just make some uh, random numbers okay um, now uh, uh, 
logic here. Let's say this is a signal. I don't know, maybe an ADC signal value. And we want just to make a nice and filter. Okay, and this one is five. We're gonna save this. We now go back to MATLAB. We will double click on a signal builder, file, import from file, browse, choose the input, wait a little bit, ok, and then uh, we shall choose replacing existing dataset, confirm selection, apply, no, without, no import without saving, yes, ok. So this is the signal which we defined earlier. Let's now just fit in the, um, our implementation. Okay, this is the signal. And um, yeah, we shall choose here a display block. Okay, to see the output, let's make an um, um, calculation first. So we need the last 10, I said, right? So the last 10 would be this one. So um, let's make it like this 5 plus 9 plus um, 34 plus 40 plus 7 plus 23 plus 6 plus 2 plus 5 plus 8 um, and that's it I think then we shall just divide it by 10 11.3 so we are now going back to MATLAB we need to change the simulation time to 0 0.2 then we gonna select uh, to show value the selected port and uh, yeah that's it we only need to simulate okay so 11.3 is the answer is the average of the last 10 samples from our input um, signal so this is the end of this presentation Thank you very much and be careful of uh, how many samples do you choose when implementing this basic uh, filter. Thank you and have a nice day.